I don't know how you, you get a fake a fake Galeria. What's a what is a Flary? Like a Chipson. But what's happening, good people? Welcome back to Search for Tone. My name is Brian for your first time viewers out there. And if you are first time dropping in, thanks a lot. Hit go down below and hit that subscribe button. Today we have for you, I think, our last guitar that we're gonna get from Timu. So the reason why we got this guitar was because it was absolutely insanely cheap. It was only $40 and we had a bunch of credits left over because if you've ever bought from Timo before, if you buy something and then it gets a reduced price, they will give you a credit of that value, that amount. So although this was $40, this guitar cost us absolutely nothing. Oh, hey guys, you caught me. I like to break a metal sweat as well too. So some of these videos, sorry to interrupt, um, were pre-canned because I had family coming in for the uh, summer vacation type thing. So I had some shot already, but we had some great announcements that I wanted to make sure that I got out to you during this because who knows when I'll get to another video and uh, some of these things might have already come and gone. So the first thing I'd like to announce is that we're doing a donation drive um, in you know spirit of my birthday. You've seen them on, fa on Facebook sometimes, but go check out this video over here and we're donating. You don't have to do anything, but if you want, you could buy a guitar or just go check out these other channels. You'll see when you check out that video. And then the other one I wanted to make sure that we get ahead of is that Eventually, we're going to be giving away this uh, MXR Randy Rose distortion pedal. Check out that video. You'll see why this thing is so special. It's already being price gouged for like three to four times the price. And we are going to give this away eventually no matter what. But again, it's going to be a free entry. But there's a little caveat to that. So check out that video as well. And let's get back to the pre-programmed viewing for your pleasure. We have an acoustic guitar for you. From Glary. Guitar is actually kind of packaged pretty well. It's got some bubble wrap over here on the neck to support it. All right, so one of the main reasons why we were kind of shying away from Timu is it seems like, don't quote me on this, but I feel like it's almost like the B stock of some of these smaller name companies that they might sell you a glary guitar, but it might be something that, you know, has some sort of imperfections on it. And I'll give you some close-ups, and it definitely doesn't look like it's finished well. So I know you're saying, what do you expect from a $40 guitar? I'm not really sure how much this retails for normally, but there's definitely some shoddy craftsmanship here. I guess if you're looking for a knock around guitar for 40 bucks, can't go wrong because you're really not gonna find anything that much cheaper. I think my first like acoustic was like a kid size acoustic and it probably if I had a guess was more than 40 bucks back in 1995 or 97. It just feels rough to the touch, matte finish, nothing crazy. Uh, cheapo strings on it. Yeah, definitely tell see that they're, they look like they're copper instead of bronze does have some sort of binding to it, but man, thing is ugly as sin. Sorry, I'm probably uh, shooting myself in the foot here too with uh, Glary on never getting a, a guitar for them to review. Uh, dent in the stock over here. Uh, yeah, you'll, I mean, you'll definitely see some of this stuff on the close-ups. 
not really expecting a whole hell of a lot out of this thing. Hopefully the bridge doesn't lift up like the uh, last one we had. And we'll give it a tune up and see how it sounds. All right, it's got a decent size to it. Tuning up didn't sound terrible. We'll see what this thing has got to offer when we uh, throw some couple of chords at it. Um, so I would say I know why it cost $40. If I wasn't going to look to get my money back, I would take this thing right now for you. And if you're going to send something out like this, I know they won't probably answer me, but I think I'm, I, I would actually want to reach out to Glary and be like, did you actually honestly put this on there? And who knows if I would get actually a truthful answer. But I hope I can capture this thing in close-ups. But this binding job is absolutely horrible. The edges just... Again, I know you're saying what do you expect out of a $40 guitar, but I would think you could probably do better than this. I don't know how you honestly would put your name on this as a company that makes other guitars that get good reviews. If you've ever had one of these acoustics and it is in better condition, please leave a comment down below. I really hate to, you know, trash a company that this might be, you know, I don't know how you, you get a fake, a fake Glary, what's a, what is a Flary? Like a Chipson? I mean, let me know your experiences with, with Timu shopping. If this is par for the course for Glary, which I really hope not because I was really looking to do some other guitars. Obviously, I'm going to have to buy them because if this is theirs, they're definitely not going to ever send me anything ever again. Take a look at the close-ups and uh, you decide. You've all been a fantastic audience 
And as always, stay tuned. <laughs>